Hi, everybody. My name is John Hodgman. Welcome to the Joy of Zoning. This, the music you're hearing, or you should be hearing, is rights-free music from StreamYard, the platform I'm using to stream this. It is called Into Space, and I don't like it. But I had to put it on in honor of our sci-fi casino that we built that you're looking at now. Hey, let's look at it, actually. First of all, stop this music. Stop. No, no, let's go back to Daydream. That's our favorite. Let's get this overlay. One, two, three, go. It's the joy of zoning, everybody. My name is John Hodgman. This is and has been and shall be for one more day tomorrow. My morning get up and go stream where I try to create a positive flow state for the day by playing Sin City for an hour, a game that used to make me very anxious. But it's actually helped me manage anxiety because it's a game. It took me a while to figure that one out. Hey, we're doing this in honor of Max Fun Drive. Max Fun Drive, of course, being the two weeks a year that we, the podcasters, our producers, and staff at the Maximum Fun Network of Quality Podcasts, come to you and say, "Hey, we put the podcast out for free. We don't put anything behind a paywall. Uh, we want everyone to be able to have access to the stuff that we make." And once a year, we come to you and say, "Hey, but if you like it and you feel like paying for it, you can." Go to MaximumFun.org slash join. MaximumFun.org slash join. Or you can go to bit.ly slash MF Drive. MF Drive. If you're watching this later on, because these are recorded, if you have been following the the birth uh, and soon to be death of this city called Maximum Drive Slovenia whether it's next week or in the far distant future from your own sci-fi casino, you're still welcome to go to maximumfund.org slash join. You can go there any time of the year you want. But Max Fun Drive is the time that we come and say, hey, we'd love your support if you can afford it. If you can't afford it, completely understood. It's a challenging time. Getting choked up. It's a challenging time. Um, you can go ahead and add your name to a list of people who would like to join but can't ship in this year because we have an option. If you are not yet a member, or if you already are a member and maxed out and you're great and happy about it, but you want to spread the max fund, you can go to maximumfund.org slash join and choose gift membership. And you can buy a basic membership or any level of membership, but it starts at five bucks a month. You can buy that, that membership for a family member or a friend or a fellow, or even a random stranger. And these next funsters who are on a waiting list will receive your anonymous gift and be very, very happy about it. I think it's anonymous. I don't know. You can brag about it if you want. I don't care. All right. That's enough of the pitch. Let's get zoning. I want to say hi to all of our zoners. Uh, in the chat right now, I see some of the... Uh, some of the people that I've seen before. I uh, hope you get some new people today too. Tell your friends. Because we're building this city today, and then tomorrow, we're going to destroy it. Because tomorrow is the last day of the next window. In any case, great to see, uh, great to see everybody. Great to see you. Let's get into a place. Let's enjoy some joy, let's enjoy some joys of zoning. From last year, here's our, here's our city. Here's Upper Max Fun Drive, Sylvania. Here's our university. Ooh, we have an upgrade available to the university. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. it looks the same. The vibe of this is supposed to be, of course, this is my homage to Bob Ross doing the joy of painting. Joy of painting. Sometimes misremembered as the by me, for example, is the 
the magic of oil painting. That was actually Bob Ross's predecessor show. I see a little abandoned building here. And the freight ship, as they say. Well, don't you worry, Johnny Hardhat. Freight shipments are on their way. Look at this big old factory that's getting built right now. The Magic of Oil Painting came before Bob Ross, and that was hosted by, I believe, a, a, well, it was a man uh, with a uh, sort of a, a German accent or a European accent. I don't know anything about it. And then that man passed away, and the show became The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross. And as you can see, we have quite a few happy little trees here. And, that's from Drive Sylvania. And we can add some more. Let's go ahead and do some. Let's put, let's put a little tree right out here in front of the school. kids something to zone out to as they stare out the windows of their classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and I think a, a hypnotically sway you tree if you get to this. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, this is a very modern building. Adjust my windows around so I can see what you're chatting about in here. Because I got some very good advice on how to play this game on the yesterday. We also had, uh, I believe it was, uh, well, it was last week, I don't remember which day, but a member of the quality assurance team on this game. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's zoom out and let me make some adjustments. Apparently there's some, I'll never get this microphone right. And I'll turn down the music. Check, 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 one, two. Microphone check. This is not how I wanted to zone out with you today. I'm sorry that there's always seems to be microphone problems. This is not a native environment for me. Traffic sound is too high. Okay, that, I understand. So I'll just make an adjustment there. I didn't freak out about it. All right, everybody. Is that a little bit better? Is that a little bit better? Okay, great. Thanks everybody for the feedback, I appreciate it. I'm glad you're out there. I'm just gonna make sure that my mic is not too hot. And I apologize for this. I'm gonna ask you each by name, Chuck, Derek, Kate, Vanessa, Thrill House, can you hear my voice okay? Is the music too loud? Minneapolis Mike just wants to talk about dodging me. I don't think this business exists in this place anymore. I think it's been, I think it's been taken over by a, by a big corporation. I don't remember where it is. You can go back into the, um, of course you can go back into the uh, archive at Twitch TV, twitch.tv slash John Hodgman. All these are archived there and you can go look at Dodgy Meat, 
find that moment when we found that crazy business together, screenshot it and keep it forever. All right, everything is great now, I agree. If you're just joining us again, this is The Joy of Zoning, where I, John Hodgman, the person who used to be on television, now goes on Twitch in the mornings to play SimCity. And by zoning, of course, I mean zoning residential, commercial, and industrial. Look over here, this is our zoning tab. And of course, Johnny Hardhat is very angry because if we lack workers, this place still needs workers. Or else, this is it. This factory needs workers. Okay. We're going to increase some density. We basically zoned all of the residential that we can, except out here. This is where I was. Oh, I'm guessing here too. This, this is our high school. I don't know. We'll go ahead and zone some more residential and try to make Johnny Hardhat stop yelling. Zone some more residential here as well. This is one of our grade schools. And honestly, this university, we're, I don't think we're ever going to get... I mean, I don't want to destroy the university to build more residential. Especially since we just built this new dormitory here. But on the other hand, Max Fun Drive ends tomorrow. Today and tomorrow are your last chance to build a bright future for Max Fun Drive and, end a, and, and enjoy a bleak future for Max Fun Drive Sylvania, because tomorrow I will destroy this city. I don't think we're going to have time to really research a concentrated solar array or solar farm great work. I'll keep it for now. I'll keep it for now. Kate, Kate says, do it. You know, Kate, you've given me very good, very good advice here. Kate suggests we go ahead and demolish this university. How much does it cost to run this thing? 2,100 simoleons an hour. It's a sunk cost. And the sunk cost fallacy is, of course, continue, continuing a project or a behavior that is not good for you. On the basis that you have already invested a lot of time and money into it. It's a fallacy. Let's do it. Here we go. Bye bye, Lil Yale. The following buildings will be bulldozed. Yes, I'll do it. There we go. I feel good about it. We demolished a university to build uh, condos. Where we ended up. City specialization advisor says high tourist demand. More tourists want to come to the city than our current transportation system can handle. Add or expand our mass transit options to serve more tourists. Well, I've already added this extra. already added this extra train station, the Truman High Speed Rail. I mean, I guess I could add another, <clears throat> pardon me, another bus. How many people are visiting us on the airship? 
only 586 a day. Meanwhile, we have 21,000, almost 22,000, uh, 21.5 thousand riders a day on the German high-speed rail. A little bit more on the regular train station. One thing we could do if we wanted, now that we've done a little joyful zoning up here, and I will go forward and increase that density. One thing to think about, this would be a little bit of a humdinger. What if we got rid of this oil field and put in, um, put in a municipal airport? I've not had a lot of luck, Kate, with municipal airports. They don't seem to really increase the amount of people who are coming. I'll think about it. It's 1.50 a.m. here in Max Fun Drive, Sylvania. And I'm gonna just go down the board. Take the look at the big picture, as they say. There we go. There we go. That's a nice one. Hey, whoa. Didn't ask for that. Power is in the green, but we have unpowered buildings. We need more power. Who's, who doesn't have power? Oh, well, you just moved in. The power hasn't reached you yet. in the green. Sewage is in the green. Still haven't plopped this mayor's mansion. That'll, that'll grow some density. People love that mayor's mansion. The trash is killing it. Fire department, one building burned down per day. I guess I have to call that the cost of doing business. Zero deaths per day. Zero crimes per day. We're now at education level three mortarboard hats. Tech level two yellow cogs. We've got municipal buses everywhere. Looks like we might be missing a little bit of municipal bus coverage. I think we are. Let's make sure people can get to that community college. I mean, honestly, that's what we need more of, community college, both in our city and in our worlds. Destigmatization of community college is very important. People should be able to go to community college for free. But college for free, obviously, but community college is a non-brainer. Good. Parks are a way to increase density. Get more people. Upgrade this whole area over here. What's the matter, Johnny Hardhat? Worker shortage, I know. What's the matter, gaming pal? High tourist demand. These are the problems. And we are going to add a big monument today. Today is the day we're going to add a monument. I just want to check and see how we're doing water-wise. plop that mayor's mansion now in this little new area that we've decided to grow. I don't 
think I'll fit in there. Hazmat fires are destroying my city, and I understand. There's nothing I can do about it, my friend. I already added a second bus terminal. How much more do you want from me? Let's plot that mayor's mansion, okay? Where is it again? Oh, yeah. There we go. This person, this mayor's mansion, takes up a lot of space, doesn't it? And it has a lot of modules that you can add to it. Maybe my mayor should live by the garbage. I want to get rid of any of this residential space. But I can plop him right nestle him in here. Plop it right in here, right? I lose two modules that way, but I'm gonna but I don't lose many houses. Let's do it. Why not? Oh. Just the thought of plopping a mayor's mansion caused my game to freeze. Let's give it a second. Ooh, that's close up. Where's my game? There it is. We'll do this now for a second. Hi. Hi, everybody. Is the game running again? Did the mayor's mansion plop? gonna have time to get all those modules in anyway so I don't really care that much about that can I add buses double-decker buses would that help yeah I only have four plopped I have to do up to eight that'll aid in mass transportation but it won't bring in people from other cities will it what about this bus can I add buses I think I'm maxed out. Oh no, I can add more municipal buses. That'll help. That'll help. We're closing in on our first million simoleons. We're going to make it pretty soon. Seven. What is that? Why can I only plop seven? Oh well, that's how it goes. Hazmat fires are destroying my city. I bet you that's what he's saying. Everything will be fine. Hey, everybody. Derek just stumbled in from Facebook Blurt. No idea what's going on. So for Derek and everyone else who might just be stumbling in, good morning. It's 9.25 a.m. on the East Coast, and this is the joy of zoning with John Hodgman. I'm John Hodgman. Inviting you this morning and tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., for my limited edition show called The Joy of Zoning. Come zoin, out, zoin, come zoin out with me. Come zone out with me as I play SimCity. It's one of my favorite ways to chill out as SimCity throws a bunch of things, anxious messages at me and I, I zen them out. I listen to some groovy music and hopefully this creates a flow state to bring me into work for the day. And I hope that it does that for you. Sometimes it just makes me play SimCity all day. You notice this banner. I'll hide that. I could have hide that so you can see a little bit more of my screen, Derek. And thanks for joining us and everybody else as well. Now, remove you from On Blast. If you're in the chat and anyone is confused, feel free to explain to them what's happening. Now, one way to get this zone going as courses to add some sweet parks there's lots of room in here for parks and frankly these little houses they're never going to densify because of the closeness to the water plant so i can add a park over here 
that's something that we... Oh, do you know what we were going to do? We were going to plop a hot air balloon ride. Looks nice. More people would enjoy that there. Let's do it. And then we have room for a Millennium Plaza over here. There, next to my ma my mansion. I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and put a basic AR center over here, or maybe over here. That'll that'll make things a little bit more um, modernistic over here. Let's do it in the center. Let's give them something to be happy about. Oh boy. I wish I could erase that from your memory. Now we're densifying right away. Everyone's get a little bit happier. I heard a big boom. Something collapsed. Don't tell me. Demand, I know. And guess what? Mega Towers. I mean, if we look... Okay, now it's the moment of truth, Kate. Because we really do have a lot of unfilled low-wealth jobs. And a mega tower would go a long way to fixing that, wouldn't it? How much time do I have left with this oil well? Five months. I really want to take this oil well away. I destroyed that university. Wouldn't it be karmically appropriate for me to get rid of that? Oil, oil well. I mean, you're absolutely right, Kate. They are a slippery slope. But since we're only playing for a couple more hours together, this, this city's life is, you know, brief. I'm going to give it all what I'm talking about, everybody. If you don't know, if you don't play some cities, that tomorrow, on the last day of the Max Fun Drive, we're going to throw all of these natural and unnatural and supernatural disasters. Or will we? Let's take a look at our budget situation. Crude oil still makes a big part of my income. If we look at August. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven shipments of crude oil. And seven times nine, of course, is known to everybody who owns a calculator like I do, is uh, seven times 9,000, 63,000 simoleons of income to lose. Just to keep Johnny Hardhat from yelling at me, this is where I'm thinking about putting the mega tower. Probably I should take away. Wait a minute, which opinion did you rescind? Oh, you should. So, okay. Kate says that she rescinds her previous opinion, which I presume is that they should see the mega towers. Kate, I'll tell you what. Can the, can the dirigible fly into the mega tower like like how uh, zeppelins were supposed to tie on to the Empire State Building? That would be fun. I should 
not build them. You think I should. Okay, let's do it. I mean, this is what, this is what, oh, Johnny Hart, but Johnny Hart had no longer yelling about unemployment, although it's still an issue, right? Let's pick a spot for a mega tower so you can see what this is all about, everybody. Jam a bunch of low wealth workers in. I mean, the, the, the regular mega towers are quite ugly. I could plop, I could get rid of this business and plop a mega tower right here in the heart of lower Max Fund Drive, Sylvania, couldn't I? Look at all these happy people up here. They're so happy. I'll wait till, I'll wait till he yells at me again. We'll definitely have a mega. Let's see. We're, we're densifying here. Let's speed it up a little. That's the problem. Let's focus on the good stuff. Let's focus on the fun and the wonderful. We have all these simoleons. What's life without spending them? to triumph. Right here next to my gaming HQ. The high tourist attraction. It raises medium wealth land value. Fits in really nicely. Uh oh, something happened. Something collapsed. This one always wants to collapse. This one always wants to collapse. Something about this area that's just percent. We have to put our little tourist attractions over here in our tourist area. in there. The Cinquantenaire Arch. Never heard of it, honestly. Never heard of it. I mean, I've always wanted to plop a Eiffel Tower, but boy, does it take up real estate. It's not worth it. I'm sorry, everybody. Maybe another year. I don't want a Dutch windmill. I don't want the Brandenburg Gate. This advisor wanted me to plop a landmark, any landmark. You know, I get, I get a 10,000 simoleon discount on any landmark. You know, this one's fun because it attracts more residents, right?
I mean, and then I'm just wiping out residential, which is kind of not the plan. Yeah, I wish I could sell a gallon of scallops. I can only do three of these. Leaning Tower of Pisa. Statue of Liberty. I always feel self-conscious about it. file. Let's do it. I'm going to put, plop the Globe Theater over here. And I'm going to plop Big Ben over here. I'm investing a lot of money, but I think it's going to pay off. The great thing about the Globe Theater is you can put on shows. When it opens, I'll show you. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to scout out a spot for a mega tower. As I'm sure Johnny Hardhat is yelling at me yet again. Not enough freight producer. Oh, no, worker shortage. <laughs> well, which is it? He's such a yelling person. My alloy reclamation line, the storage is full. But look, we're gonna come in all new all new skyscrapers over here. Maybe I can avoid doing a mega tower. You know what? This is the perfect compromise. I don't want to destroy, I will lob one disaster at this city tomorrow or two, but I don't want to destroy our city. I'll simply ruin it with mega towers tomorrow. You can see. You can see what that's all about. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. So let's deal with our alloy reclamation line, shall we? We have more alloy than we can store. Valuable export. wonderful things about playing this game is coming to appreciate how often the problems solve themselves. Oh, I guess it's still a problem. Never mind that. Okay. Let's do it. Trade Depot.
like this and you're gonna like this too. Watch this. This is a good time to remind you, my name is John Hodgman. This is The Joy of Zoning. We'll be zoning residential, commercial, and industrial in the game of SimCity today until a little after 10, maybe 10 o'clock actually. I got some work to do. And then again tomorrow at 9 a.m. We're building a little city here in SimCity called Max Fund Drive, Sylvania in honor of the Max Fund Drive. If you'd like to join or become a member of Max Fund, this is the best time to do it. All you need to do is go to maximumfund.org slash join. Right? Not only do you encourage you to do it, I'm asking you to do it. And see if it works within your budget to become a member of Maximum Fund, a supporting member. have room for one module and you know it's going to be alloy so that we can start collecting it and shipping it out Inelegant. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. These factories are building up. Remember the cursed factory that always keeps collapsing? It's a very scary looking factory, isn't it? Part because it's closed. They want more workers. I wonder if there is a way to speed up my beloved processor plant too. Isn't it over here? Yeah, it's producing processors. Oh yeah. Guess what? I can add a lot. Probably that would have been the smart play, honestly. Because this thing, this processor plant, sucks up alloy, like cocoa puffs. Probably that whole trade depot wasn't even necessary. I think that's the problem that's going to be. It's going to solve itself, and it just did. Close these doors. Well, look, if you're adding nothing, creepy factory that always just collapses, why don't I add another bus terminal? Honestly. Access to a ferry. There's no water here, right? No. Yeah, I don't like you anymore, FA Kings and Sons. I'm going to put a bus terminal where you are. How do you like that? Big old bus terminal. Oh no, don't freeze. Oh. The game froze. I guess F.A. Kings and Sons called in some favors with the government. 
There we go. Now we're going again. No, I want a bus terminal like this. Go away forever. I want more people coming in. Do I want to just keep getting yelled at? No. Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't realize this was going to happen. Because I put Big Ben in the old globe in, all of our buildings are getting like weirdly tutorized. And the Bagel Box Hotel says they need workers. All right, I get the message. Kate, if I could edit terrain in this game, there's nothing. This would all be over. Oppo research suggests that Johnny Hardhat has some problematic tweets in his timeline. That's pretty good. I love the blur on this thing, though, right? Pretty good. We're back. You're right, Kate. What show is at the Globe? We need to schedule a show for the Globe. All of a sudden, Johnny Hardhat isn't yelling anymore. Bus depot closed, but why? Oh, because of workers. But no, guess what? We've had an influx of population. That's good. Let's schedule a show at the Globe. Globe Theater. Click to schedule an event. I could end up losing money on this. Guess what they're going to show? A play. I'll do it. It costs 6,000 simoleons. If I get 3,000 visitors to check it out, Gonna work. I see. You need to stop exporting plastic and use it for local use. Everything's out of whack now because I expanded my uh, recycling plant. So let's stop exporting the plastic locally. It's 951 here in Max Fun Drive, Slovenia. How's our casino doing? Really well. Gambling house is doing really well. Other gambling houses doing really well. People still aren't getting to the city as much as they want. What else can I do, my friend? I 
added an airship hangar. Three thousand people are riding it a day. I suppose I could add another train station and see what happens. Let's do it. But one of the things that SimCity just reminds you is people are going to yell. People are just going to yell. Simple train station. Right here. And we'll connect that to a road pretty simply. We've got a full house, just like that. That's nice. Are hazmat fires destroying my city? But I think I'm, it's maybe time for a mayor's mansion upgrade. No, I want a city hall upgrade, please. Wow. You know, our city's getting so big now that um, city is getting so big now that uh, it's almost uh, <laughs> the game can't keep up. The game can't keep up with Max Fun Drive Sylvania. But I hope you can keep up with Max Fun Drive. Bit.ly slash MF Drive. You can see it right there. No, there, there. I'll never get used to this. That's where you click in order to go and support the Judge John Hodgman podcast and any other podcasts that you love. So here's our new train station. It's already got 2,000 riders coming in. Here's this casino. Maxing out on every metric. Thank you, Sarah. Well, builds. Appreciate that. Look at Kate. Look at Kate dropping in the prompts for the chat. Good job, Kate. Thanks. You should be able to build uh, build more. Uh, Lodging here? I think I can. Nope. I've maxed out on that gaming house. Is it time to build a new casino? Let's try it. the show. Let's have another one. Yeah. Something just collapsed. I'm going to add a brazier to this casino. What happened now? 
Johnny Hard hat. This area is cursed. This is where the, the haunted factory was always collapsing. I don't know what it is about this area. stopped only because it's nighttime. Well, it's coming up at uh, 10 a.m. It's pretty soon. I promised David Reese I would not play SimCity all morning, but in fact, get to work. So, shall we take a little walk through our, our city? some high wealth hotel rooms. across the board. That's fantastic. It's a great place to stop. Hooray! Fireworks at the Mayor's Mansion for all the progress we've made. Max Fun Drive, Sylvania is a bustling city. Uh, Johnny Hardhat, you had to yell, didn't you? Mega Towers, I got you. You see them tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day of the Max Fun Drive. We're doing well on our goal. We did manage to unlock uh, the prisoner upgrade, that is to say, uh, the, we'll call it, I was thinking about calling it, this podcast Be Seeing You, because it's about the prisoner. Elliot Kalen and I are making an extremely limited edition podcast about the prisoner. Um, and we're going to, uh, right now we're just calling it the prisoner podcast. I, I was thinking about calling it Be Seeing You, because it's a reference, obviously, to the late 60s weird television show called The Prisoner. Um, but maybe it should be called the Max Fun Prisoner Experiment in honor of the Stanford Prisoner Experiment. I don't know. We'll see what it, we'll see what happens. Tomorrow's the last day of the Max Fun Drive. Um, thank you so much for your support these past two weeks. Our, our, our new and upgrading uh, members numbers have really soared in the past couple of days, and I think I know who to thank you. And um, I'll be returning this afternoon at 3 p.m. to talk to cats and dogs and other pets on the TV, the non-TV show, non-TV show, an internet stream that I call Get Your Pets. That's at 3 p.m. today. The final episode of this season of Zone of the Joy of Zone will occur tomorrow at 9 a.m. And tomorrow at 9 a.m. we will say a final hello and a question mark goodbye to Max Fun Drive, Sylvania. We're definitely going to see some kaiju wandering through the city. We're definitely going to see a giant mech suit tramp through the city. Um, and we're definitely going to see some mega towers. Mega towers. But in the meantime, let's take a little walk through our city just to see what we
coming? Is there an airship coming? I don't see one. So I'm going to go in See you next time.